Hey there, this is Gilbert with Mobile Detailing LA. I'm based out here in the LA area. Go ahead and follow my social media page on Instagram, at Mobile Detailing LA. Today we're, we're gonna be working on this beautiful wide body scat pack. We're gonna go ahead and be doing my bronze package on it, my basic interior exterior wash, and let's go ahead and get started. This car looks pretty clean from the inside, man. Oh yeah, this is uh, so this is like one of my like one of my boys. He gets a wash literally every week. Uh -huh. So um, the car really don't stay dirty on the inside. And like I said, he has other cars that he drives. So this one, like for the most part, just sits and collects dust. As you can see, I literally just washed it not too long ago, and it's already dirty on the outside. But the inside is pretty much clean. Just a quick yeah. dusting, and then you know we should be good. Yeah. So you say you're doing the bronze package on this yeah, one? Yeah. So this one's getting our bronze package. Our bronze package is kind of like our basic entry level uh, interior exterior package so you know you still get the full interior wipe down wipe down the leather seats wipe down the doors wipe down the dashboard cup holders and stuff like that and then it's just a vacuum paper mat and then the choice of air freshener and then the wash on the outside yeah. deep, deep wool clean and then tire shine yeah and so how much does your your bronze package run for uh so my bronze package is it runs 50 a car and 60 suv and then 70 trucks and then 75 minivans just, and then from there it just kind of varies on the condition of the car you know the, if the car is like in really bad shape let's say let's say if this car was really dirty i'd probably have to upcharge another 10 15 dollars just for it being really dirty and stuff like yeah. that but i mean for the most part uh, most of my clients um they're either like on bi, um, bi weekly or weekly uh basis so i mean most of the cars they don't really stay too dirty So that's that scrubbing pad you were talking about last time, right? There's yeah, like so, a... so this is like the scrubbing pad where it's kind of like a microfiber pad. Uh -huh. And then I, you know, I just spray the product on it and then just come back and just wipe it down and then just come back with a rag and then, you know, make sure the product don't dry on the on, on the on the leather or the plastic or like that, you know, just yeah. to avoid any damaging or anything like that. And then, yeah, it's pretty and then much. then it has, the blue side is like a softer side? Yeah, or? so the blue side, I normally use it like, like on wood finishes. I know Teslas, they have like wood finishes, BMWs or like carbon fiber finishes. Yeah. It's kind of more softer and like it's it's uh, less of a chance of it getting like uh, any corrosion or any scratching like that. So I just use the softer side on like plastics, on like um, the more sensitive materials and stuff. Yeah. yeah. And you said you got that one at AutoZone, right? Yeah, I got it at AutoZone. I think like a pack is like five bucks and on discount I think they're like three, three dollars, no more than four bucks. So I was luckily, I, it was funny because I had went the day before and they didn't have no sales on them and I was like, I'll come back next week. And I went back the next week and they had them for like three something each packet. And then I just bought all the ones they had, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it, it's cool, you know. They, yeah, they come in handy. They come in handy. So, Gilbert, how'd you get this client with the scat pack? Oh, so the story's pretty crazy, right? So, um, the way I got this client is every day I'd drive past their body shop to to get to work, and um, I would always see the scat pack, and I'd see I would always see that it's kind of dusty, and I mean now I know because they live kind of close to a baseball field, but. Um, at that time, I didn't want to stop buying, and, like, sell them, like, the business, because I, I, I wasn't detailing for, for my own business. I was detailing for another business. So, um, when I started my own, I had passed by, and I seen they had a Hellcat now, and I was like, oh, hold up. So, like, they got a scat pack and a Hellcat. So, then I just did a, a call of faith, and I just called them. I just called the body shop number, and I was like, hey, bro, like, if you're ever interested in a car wash, like, I do mobile car washes, like, here's my information, and we just talked over the phone about the cars and stuff, and I ended up, at the end, like, my last word was, like, like, look, if you want to book with me, that's perfect. I'd appreciate it. But if not, just know you have dope ass cars. And since that day, the I think it was about like three days later, he called. And ever since then, he's been a weekly client. I do about like five, six cars every week about him. So, you know, you just got to take these big leaps of faith that, you know, what's the worst that could happen? They could just tell you no, shut the yeah. door in your face. But I mean, you got to keep it pushing, you know, you got to make it happen. Yeah. Yeah, but that's, that's literally how I got this client. So would you say you get most of your clients that way or through like your uh, social media? No, so the way that I'm getting about like 80% of my clients right now is through social media, the social media outlet being Instagram. And then, you know, I, I use like different uh, business tactics on Instagram to get clientele, you know, whether it's like either following people or just strictly DMing them, doing like like uh, raffles with, with other uh, car clubs and stuff like that or anything like that. Yeah. Um, but for the most part, 80% to 85% of my clientele 
how it's through it's through Instagram. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Gilbert, with this bronze package, I mean, like we said earlier, the car's pretty clean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How long should this take you? Um, so with a car like this, normally it takes me about like 45 minutes, max an hour, just really depending on like on how the the condition of the rims are. And like I showed you, the rims aren't even dirty, bro. Yeah. Like, I mean, we we could check them out. Like, <laughs> you can literally like. I just washed it last week, so it's it's just dust. It's not even brake dust. It's just overall dust. So for something like this, max 45 minutes. Yeah, and that's like a full interior wipe down, and then like the deep wool clean, and then the wash on the outside. So Gilbert, yeah. do you think uh, like the business side is important when it when it comes to being a detailer? Oh yeah, I feel like. Personally, for me, the way I run my business and the way that I feel like it's helped me a lot is about 30% of my detailing business is actual like detailing and the other 70% is literally business-wise. So whether it's like having nice business cards, um, customer service is number one. And then just even having like my business sign out that like, you know, when I have it out, wash a car, someone drives by, they see it. Or like um, having my loyalty cards or stuff like that. You know, just investing money into the business side of the detailing business other than just like investing most of my time into like detailing you know and learning how to do something new you know that comes with over time you know like you, you don't have to learn how to like paint correct how to do full interior details the week of detailing you know that comes with time you know first you start you crawl before you run and all that yeah so i feel like for the most part detailers should focus on the detail the business part of detailing other than like the car wash and detailing part of the, the thing you know because yeah. you're detailing you could be the best detail in the world but if you don't have a good business plan if you don't have a good business strategy or like if you don't know how to talk to people or like if you don't have like a like so, you know for me first the first impression is what matters so if you don't if you're not good in showing your first impression there's no point of you being the best detailer you know yeah. but in other ways like let's say you're not you're like a whatever detailer or started detailer but you got your business part of things done you know the clients are going to come in because they're like he's professional about it you know he looks professional he acts professional the way he runs things are professional so you know that i feel like that just kind of builds a, a business more you know yeah so yeah so that, that, that that's what i think like on, on on the question you asked yeah that i think like the professional side of things like do matter more than just like the detailing part of things got it got it yeah Hey, Gilbert, does this car have a like a ceramic coating or something? Um, no, so basically, um, like the same thing like with the previous car, I coat them with bead maker. And oh. this one, um, they kind of just got like a thicker uh, coating of bead maker. Yeah. And you know, bead maker is like a spray sealant. So that one, like if you if it's coated well, and like, you know, you clay bar and you do just the, the right application, it could last you anywhere from three to four months. So, I mean, that's what this has. That's why like you see like the crazy hydrophobic properties. Got it on the windows, on the side of the car. I mean, the soap, like they kind of don't even stick on it you know even the yeah. soap beads of it you know the foam is like super thick so i mean it's pretty crazy bean maker really does his job yeah yeah is that like a special yeah so shape? it's it's like a it's kind of like a big drying towel, but like a microfiber one. Yeah. So it's, it, you know, it's better than using like a chamois or anything like that. And it's double-sided, you know? Oh. So like the, the bonus of it is that it's it's like a plush microfiber. Yeah. So it's safe on like the, the cars and stuff like that, you know? Yeah. So whenever you get easy to drive cars like this, like it's it's cool, like using one of these, you know, that are already protected and stuff. Yeah. I use one of these to like reduce any scratching or any swirling or anything like that. Yeah. Is that from AutoZone 2 or no? No, it's actually from Harbor Freight. Oh, yeah, shit. crazy. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to say the detail store, but they have one and they sell it for $40. The exact same size, everything, same yeah. material, double sided. Yeah. Harbor Freight, they're five bucks. What? Yeah. Damn. So if you guys go to Harbor Freight, pick you guys up one of these drying towels. Way better than using those leather chamois and stuff like yeah. that. That could like potentially like damage the, the paint of the vehicle and stuff. Mm -hmm. When it's like these, you use them, you put it in the sun to dry. I mean, even right now, like, like you can feel it. Like it's not, it's not too wet. Oh, so yeah. like this can last you five cars. 
And if this side gets wet, it's double-sided. So while, while this side is wet, this side will be completely dry. And then you do another five cars with this side. So five bucks? Yeah. Again, can you give us a quick update on the, the detail? On the yeah, wash? so basically we already finished up the interior. Um, we already finished washing it. We didn't have to put no protection on it just because it has protection from the previous wash. As you can see, the car looks, looks immaculate. And all we got to do right now is basically just dry up the wheels, put tire shine, do the windows. And then, yeah, we should be moving on to our next appointment. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So Gilbert, uh, what yeah. package would you recommend for someone that wants to book you like for their first time? So, so like a first time client, um, normally when they ask like, oh, what packages do you, do you offer? I normally send them my bronze and silver because those are like my entry um, inside and outside packages. You know, the, the bronze being like my most basic one, the full interior wipe down, the exterior wash and stuff, the deep wheel clean tire shine and stuff like that. And then um, that's mostly what people go for. Yeah. But then, you know, people that they have a little bit more dirtier car and they want like, they want a little bit more detail, get up in the little cracks, get everything steam clean. And, you know, they normally go for the silver, but like my most sold packages are my bronze and my silver. Mm -hmm. And those are the normally packages that I recommend a client, just depending on the condition of the car. Yeah. So if it's really dirty, I'm like, hey, I have this silver package. But if it's like in decent shape, you know, kind of dirty, but not too dirty, I'm just like, hey, here's my bronze package, you know? Yeah. So for the most part, those are my, my two packages that I mostly recommend and I mostly sell to my, to my clients. So that was it, guys. We just finished doing the bronze package on this beautiful wide body scat pack. Um, we're gonna, we went ahead and took care of the inside to clear the outside as you can see it's looking great don't forget to like comment and subscribe and leave a comment down below what do you guys think is better we talked about the business side of things but what do you think is better whether it's focusing more on the detailing part of the business or the business part of the, the whole detailing business leave a comment down below peace